You probably already knew this, but cars, houses, machines, or even as simple as clothes and shoes undergo wear and tear, an inevitable natural occurrence of damage or deterioration due to regular usage or aging. That's why we always do regular maintenance, checkups, or major and minor repairs to prolong their life. Just like these things, our body and mind, as we go through our life, also experience breakdowns. You probably wouldn't want to hear that, but well, that's just what life is all about. You're born, grow old, and eventually return to Earth. That's why we are exercising, eating healthy food, taking vitamin supplements, and taking regular sleep, all to slow our body's breakdown. But how about our minds and emotional health? Sometimes we're too busy trying to take care of our bodies, but then forget to nourish our minds and souls. Just how important it is to take care of our body, mind and soul detox is also important. This is most especially true as the number of suicides is increasing. In fact, in the US, it is the 12th leading cause of death. That's why it is important to hit that reset button for our minds too. Aligned with Suicide Prevention Month here in Thrivetastic, we will be sharing with you some ways to detox your mind for better emotional health. Welcome to Thrive Test. If you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button and join our community. And as always guys, give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. 1. Get rid of clutter. Have you ever noticed when your house is a mess and your work desk is disorganized, your mind also be in chaos? Like you get easily exhausted, irritated, and in a frequent work slump? Well, there might be a few exceptions, but I think most of us do. Being surrounded by clutter in your physical space makes you feel overwhelmed in your mind as well. Just by having a clean and orderly space, you will feel refreshed and invigorated, rather than constrained and stressed. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now, do it and you'll be surprised what difference it could make. 2. Start being a little more selfish. Sometimes we are so focused on doing something for others, for our kids, our parents, our husband or wife, for our company, that sometimes we forget to do something for ourselves too. But self-care is as important as taking care of others. How can you take care of your loved ones when you yourself don't feel good? Remember, emotions are contagious. When you're feeling burdened, unhappy, and stressed, those around you will feel it too. You don't need to feel guilty doing something that you love. Maybe not all the time, but just once in a while. To take a little breather and have a little room for yourself. Whether you're young, an adult, or old, we all have responsibilities that we can't escape but make time for yourself occasionally. We need it to have the mental strength to push through when things get tough. 3. Rethink your current job. Given the average adult spends one-third of his or her life at work, it would be ideal if that job offered more than simply a paycheck. It would be ideal if it was also mentally stimulating and thrilling. Regrettably, not everyone has this luxury. Many people stay where they are because they are comfortable or believe they will not be able to obtain a better job or career elsewhere. If you're unhappy at your current job, however, consider other options. If you don't have any savings, it's not a good idea to quit your work without a plan. But think about what would make you truly happy and establish a plan to pursue it. This frees up more mental and spiritual space for the things that truly really lift you, both professionally and personally. 4. Have some quiet time We've all encountered awkward silences in our daily encounters with others. But have you ever considered how you feel when you're sitting alone in silence? The truth is that for some people, this can be incredibly distressing. We're so used to having music or TV playing in the background, even if we're not listening or watching, that we can get lost in our thoughts without it. We have cell phones, the internet, and television, so we rarely get the chance to disconnect. However, being conscious in the present moment is one of the most effective ways to clear your mind. Get used to sitting with your thoughts and enjoying quiet times so that you can deal with noisy situations more efficiently. 5. Get in touch with your emotions. Emotion is frequently associated with weakness in men, but also in women these days. 
The problem is that avoiding your emotions rather than expressing or confronting them, whether at work, at home, or elsewhere, can produce unnecessary stress. Allow yourself to feel your emotions instead, to clear your soul. Even if you find yourself sobbing uncontrollably, being able to connect with your emotions means that you'll be able to deal with anything life throws at you. Number 6. Take a trip. Taking a short vacation can provide you with the same mental clarity as clearing out the clutter can. Our surroundings profoundly influence us, and a change of scenery can truly help you reset. A week or two in an overwater bungalow in Fiji would be great, but it may not be realistic. A journey to the country where the air is fresh and clean, surrounded by green fields, can also work its charm. You'd be surprised how much a weekend away from the hustle and bustle can make. 7. Stop comparing yourself to others Comparing yourself to others is a nasty habit that frequently leads to self-doubt. However, some people do it far too frequently. You might look at the model in a magazine and wish you were as slender or muscular as they are. Or you might see someone driving your dream vehicle and wonder why they got it rather than you. But not everything is as it appears. The model's photo could be photoshopped, and the individual who owns your dream car may be trying to make ends meet. Rather than continuously comparing yourself to others, start focusing on what you already love and value about yourself. As they say, count your blessings instead of your crosses. Count your gains instead of your losses. Count your joys instead of your woes. In other words, instead of looking of what you lack, focus on what you have. 8. Delete toxic apps from your phone. After discovering the influence that social media may have on individuals, apps and phones are finally incorporating features like reminders and time limitations to encourage people to spend less time on them. But what if you completely remove some of those apps? While you may go on social media to enjoy some hilarious memes, you will certainly come across some toxic content that will eventually take a toll on your mental health. Whether it's political debates or your friend's flawlessly created life, these apps can cause anxiety and make you feel horrible about yourself. So, try to get rid of them. You will be amazed at how much free time you have for other things. Anyway, if you ever want to reinstall those social media apps, you can always do. 9. Set aside time to worry. Sometimes we view worry as something negative that needed to be set aside. We spend far too much time worrying in life, especially given that we only have control over a small portion of it. You can't clear your mind if it's continuously cluttered with worries. Instead of allowing these worries to take up the room in your head, set aside 10 minutes each day to let them go. You may realize that there is nothing you can do, but simply getting it out will provide you some relief. Getting rid of all the negativity frees up your thoughts and helps you be fully present for the rest of the day. 10. Cut out the toxic people in your life. It's easy to isolate yourself from a coworker or classmate who makes you feel horrible about yourself. However, when it comes to a family member or a childhood friend, things might become a little tricky. But it shouldn't be. When you think of family and friends, you should have more positive individuals in your life. Than negative people. And if a relationship is no longer benefiting you, there's no reason to keep that person around, regardless of who they are. Toxic connections cause unnecessary stress in your mind and soul. Therefore, don't be scared to let people go. Some relationships aren't intended to last. And once you've freed up space in your life by letting go of those who drag you down, you'll have more time for those who lift you. When you're interacting with someone or performing your responsibilities, Stress and sometimes emotional damage are inevitable. That's why detoxifying our mind and soul is very important if you want to persevere in life. Much better if you have an outlet for those overwhelming emotions, whether it be a trusted person or doing something you genuinely love. That's all for today's video. But before we wrap it all up, I want to ask you guys, what are you doing to deal with stress or overwhelming situations? Was it included in our list, or maybe you have something different in mind? Please leave a comment down below for your answers and just any thoughts for today's video. Thank you for watching this Thrive-tastic video. So if you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, 
we handpicked this awesome, five-tastic video for you to watch next.